I think if we look into uh, the combination of, of science and design and biology and design, I think it's something really good going on there. There's many developments in, in the field of science or also natural phenomena that you come across when you study biology that a lot of people don't hear about or they don't accidentally come across it. And so I think design is a really a, a nice um, just way of a method of, of being able to, to visualize this for a, a larger uh, public, um, a larger audience, these, these developments that otherwise maybe never see the light of day because yeah, they're maybe still too complicated or something. This bioluminescent lamp, it's called uh, Ambio and I created it for my graduation project. Um, and it was actually um, a visualization of my research into how we can use nature as a source of energy. And I was just looking in, into, like for instance, uh, biodigestion or um, someone who was uh, creating an algae that could take in CO2, like any other algae of course, but then excrete biofuels. And at some point I came also across this natural phenomenon of, of this bioluminescence in, in the sea. Um, and a lot of people have <laughs> seen this actually, where uh, whenever a wave turns, um, and there's a specific organism in, in, the, in the waves, they react to the oxygen that mixes once the wave is turning and they will start to emit light. And this is ki a kind of a magic phenomenon actually in, in our, our, our nature that I think uh, there's so much to discover about things like that and how we can use the nature really as a source of energy. And right now, I mean, I've managed to create something that without using any uh, electrical device like a plug or anything, just manages to emit light. And that was quite a big thing because in a laboratory, if you would have bioluminescent organisms, they would, you know, be on a shaker or something and then that shaker would of course be plugged and they could emit light or they would have like a pump attached to a uh, pump like oxygen through or something like you would also always have like this really advanced chemical setup somehow and I wanted to really create something that would uh, demonstrate that um, it's actually just natural and it's just something that exists on its own in a way. So what I did was to create an installation that through movement the bacteria would uh, emit light but this movement should not be induced by an electrical device so you just uh, induce the movement yourself. And this thing it's made in such a way like a balance that once you move it uh, uh, once it will stay in movement for quite a long time. And as long as there's movement there's light. Right now it's, it's really something that can uh, inspire people, uh, I, I hope it will inspire people to see nature as a source of, an, of energy and uh, so that's why I'm uh, right now focusing on trying to develop it in a way that it's, it would be fantastic if you would in the end have a lamp that maybe you, for people that I think they do have to have some kind of green hands or something <laughs> like right now it's a bit like having a pet in a way. Um, but it would be great if it would be like having a plant or, you know, you just need to water it once a day or something. Um, like a, like a, a lamp when you go on a, on a holiday that you have to ask your neighbors to feed your lamp, you know, something like that. that it would be great, of course, but um, it will take some more research, of course, before we get to that point. <laughs>